how are the mountains formed it's very interesting question the thing is every student who wants to learn something new they should always go go on asking questions why what how where you go on asking questions you will find answers for that every answer will have a question now we have seen the mountains how these mountains are formed that is number one there is a theory the theory is that one the pangaea pangaea is the theory in the beginning of the at formation pangaea it was called the super continent all the continents were together these were all located on the plates what we call them the tectonic plates plates were together if you see the world map or else if you see the a uh, globe you find that one north america south america the shapes you see africa shape you see then completely eurasia shape you see and then there comes australia the shape you see if you can fix up it to, together you find like it a small together one piece but because of the continental drift the plates were going away from each other in that way that drifting of the plates caused the continents when the continents started the plates started moving sometimes what happened the plates collided against each other how the two cars collide in a speed then what happens the bonnet will come out it will race to like this one this two cars the dash to each other then you find this one in the same way the collusion the collide uh, the collusion between these two continents or when they collided together then the surface of the place they rose to the like a bonnet and in that way the mountains are formed the same way the earth crust rising up forming into a higher elevation and so the mountain formation occurred these mountains of the mountains formation is a process with a large scale movement of the earth crust that is tectonic plates generally these formations will be in four types what is folding but for example you are taking like this one and then you are folding because when these two are collided with each other then there is a folding and sometimes you find faulting they may drift when they drift what happens the middle part will completely slide down it is a faulting and it it causes volcanic activity then igneous igneous formation and the metamorphism in this way different ways these mountains are formed most of the mountains what we find is are the fold mountains they are different types and all that one fault block mountains dome mountains volcanic mountains plateau mountains tibet plateau pamir plateau you find in this way so the plateau mountains himalayas this side rocky mountains the andes mountains the atlas mountains the alps mountains in europe and the caucasus mountains so in this way you find different types of mountains and all that they formed in this way every mountain formation will have a mountain range a mountain range means a group of mountains will be formed a group of mountains for example rocky mountains are there rocky mountains consists of different ranges rocky mountains alaska range sierra nevada appalachian mountains in north america you find this one then there are nearly such 96 mountains in the united states itself with 10 highest peaks in north america the appalachian mountains are the oldest mountains ranges in north america sierra nevada 
is the youngest mountain in the in north america andes mountain ranges are covering seven countries in south america venezuela colombia ecuador peru bolivia chile and argentina andes and great dividing range are the mountain ranges what we find in these andes areas the atlas mountains across the northern africa it is 2500 kilometers long they cover morocco algeria tunisia and parts of the sahara desert the name atlas it's very interesting to know it got after the ancient greek titan atlas and it was believed that the atlas that is the titan god he was boring he was bearing the whole earth on his head so in that way the name atlas has come and from that atlas only our maps are also called atlas maps the himalayas are young old mountains whereas the aravalli ranges are the old in our indian subcontinent the caucasus mountain they intersect between asia and europe mount elbrus is the highest peak in europe with 5642 meters above the sea level the caucasus mountains the stretches between black sea and the caspian sea ural mountains are in russia blue mountains king's canyon snowy mountains cradle mountain are some important mountain ranges in australia mountains are tourist spots they are home for most of the rivers covered with dense forests they are home for many wild animals full of granite greenery it provides greenhouse effect forest resources they provide it's place for wood wood is most important they influence the climate they give us fresh air and you find herbal medicines in this way the mountains the mountain forest areas are completely rich in resources natural resources for the human beings of course mountains cover almost one fifth of the world's landscape one tenth of the world population are living on the mountains and at the foothills of the mountains so in this way the forests the mountains they maintain ecosystem they are the tourist destinations and they are life giving water resources thank you very much